Year 9 options are one of the first opportunities for you to make choices which help to shape your future and allows you to follow your personal interests. This presentation gives you an insight into the EDUCAST WJEC Level 1-2 Vocational Award in Performing Arts, the technical award with a dance approach. My name is Mrs East and I am the lead dance teacher at Rushy Mead Academy. Dance has been established at the school now for over 15 years and the faculty have always produced excellent exam results. Is this course right for you? Do you have a passion and a talent for dance? Do you enjoy dance and want to study it as an academic subject? Are you prepared to perform in front of an audience, as a group, or on your own as a soloist? Are you willing to rehearse in your own time and with others? Do you want to develop your knowledge and skills in different dance styles? Did you achieve a track point six or higher at key stage three in dance? And do you attend extracurricular clubs at school? or in your own community. The Level 1-2 Vocational Course in Dance is set by EDUCAS, the WJEC exam board, and delivered by specialist dance teachers over 120 guided learning hours. The students will participate in three units, two internal controlled assessments and one external controlled assessment. All the units will have a combination of practical and theory work and will look at different skills from performance, choreography, research, analysis and appreciation. They will gain transferable skills throughout. The course is a vocational course, which gives the students the opportunity to see what it is like to work in the industry. There are no exams and the course is very much project based. For units one and two, you will undertake projects in response to briefs. The project for each unit will take 10 hours and be worth 30% of the qualification. For each one, you will be given a scenario and you will need to undertake a number of tasks. In unit three, you will undertake another project in response to another brief. This time it will be 20 hours and worth 40%. The course requires students to complete written elements as well as practical performances. Unit one, performing. You will learn the skills and techniques needed to produce a successful performance of an existing work. You will learn a set routine from a professional performance and follow a process of research, planning, reflection, performance and evaluation. You will examine professional practitioners' performance work from musical theatre. As a group, you will select a musical theatre piece, which you will research and look into the background and the style of the piece. You will look at all aspects, not just the dancing, things like the costume, the lighting, the set design, You'll look at many different aspects of the piece, which will help you in your final performance. From your research and understanding, you'll put together a rehearsal schedule, setting out when and where you will rehearse and what key techniques to focus on. It's not all about performing. It's about the processes that you go through in order to create a successful performance. You will experience different rehearsal techniques and processes. You will work on self-evaluation, peer evaluation. You will create smart targets to help you with your progression. You will analyse your own personal performance skills. Looking at your technical skills and interpretive skills.
Then you will perform for an audience and gain feedback. Finally, you will analyse your performance looking at your strengths and areas for improvement. Unit 2, Creating. You will learn how to create and refine your own original work. This is where you get to create your own choreography based upon a set stimulus or a brief set by the exam board. You will plan, choreograph, develop, perform and ev evaluate following the creative process throughout. Your choreography will need to be between 3 and 10 minutes. To start off with, you will outline your initial ideas and how they relate to the brief. You can record your ideas in a number of ways. It can be mood boards, you can keep a diary. From your initial ideas, you will then need to start your choreography. Throughout the course, you will learn lots of different choreographic techniques and devices, ways to create your own choreography. You will look at motif and how to create movement that relates to the stimulus. You'll look at development, many different choreographic devices and techniques, such as action, space, dynamics and relationships. Once you've created your own choreography, you'll perform for an audience and receive feedback. And from that feedback, you will evaluate the success of your choreography. Unit 3, the external unit. Performing arts in practice. You will learn about areas of the performing arts industry that need to be considered when responding to a commission. And you will consider these when coming up with and pitching your own idea. This unit is highly vocational. You will be following a process used in the industry for applying for bids and funding. We'll start by planning and then pitching, promoting, performing, evaluating and reflecting. Planning is really important at the beginning to make sure that you have a clear idea of where your choreography is going. You'll then need to be able to pitch those ideas to a panel. We will look at the marketing industry and look at PR strategies for your work. Then you will perform, evaluate and reflect. Throughout the course, you'll have opportunities to perform in different spaces, and your work will be showcased in the Dance Showcase at the end of the year. Also hope that there is an opportunity for students to see live theatre. This course is equivalent to the BTEC and the GCSE dance. Progression opportunities are exactly the same. You can move on to BTEC Level 3 Performing Arts. You can have an entrance into dance colleges or universities, go on to study AS or A-level dance, and pursue careers within the dance industry. The Level 1-2 Technical Award in Dance is a new and interesting specification which prepares the learners for the arts industry and gives them valuable transferable skills for life. If you have any questions about the qualification, please contact Mrs East or you can email her at reeast at rushy-tmet.uk.